With masking, you can do so many cool things. You can do a reaction video, a gameplay video, or you can even clone yourself. Hey, how's it going? And CapCut makes it so easy to use. I'll simplify these edits and by the end of the video, you'll be a CapCut masking expert yourself. Welcome back to CapCut's YouTube channel. My name is Ricardo Soto, and today I'm going to guide you on how to use the masking tool in CapCut Desktop. And before we get started, make sure you subscribe to CapCut's YouTube channel and comment down below how you'll be using this effect. You know, I would love to see your edits. So without further ado, let's start talking about masking. All right, so that effect that you saw earlier where I cloned myself, I'm gonna show you how to do that. And throughout that process, I'll show you what the rough concept of masking is. So before we get started, we're gonna need two clips. And make sure that the camera or phone that you're gonna use stays in the same position throughout this entire filming process. You're going to film yourself on one side of the shot. And after you get that, you're gonna go on the whole other side and film another shot of yourself there. And once you get those shots, you're going to import them on CapCut and put one of those shots on top of the other. It really doesn't matter which one. And now I have both of mine aligned. So you can see one is on top of the other right there. And this is where we use the masking tool. Select the video that you have on top. And then in the video tab, go all the way to the masking sub tab. And for this effect, we're going to do a split mask. So you're gonna hit split. All right, you can see how my head is on top and my torso is at the bottom, but in two different sides. We're gonna fix that up. So you're going to twist this line all the way here. I'll do 90 degrees, just to your liking. And that already does not look bad at all. But if you go all the way to the bottom of the masking tab, you see right there, there's a slider that says feather. And that'll smooth out the line so it's not a harsh cut in the middle. I'll set the slider to 10. Never hurts to have a bit of a feather. So let's play that back. Or you can even clone yourself. Hey, how's it going? And CapCut makes it so easy to use. Yeah, you see how easy that it is? It actually looks really, really good. But yeah, that's pretty much the concept of masking. It'll erase the whole part of the video so another part shows up. Let me show you some other cool things that you can do with the masking tool. You've probably seen reaction videos, gameplay videos. And you know how people have a little cutout of themselves and they put it over the gameplay? Well, let me show you how to do that with masking. So first, we're going to open up a brand new project on CapCut Desktop. And then you're going to grab the footage of yourself reacting and the footage of what you're reacting to or your gameplay. You're going to put that gameplay reaction footage first. And I'm going to use this video of me jamming out playing guitar. Don't think I react to myself all the time. And now that you have that footage imported, you're going to import the clip of you reacting. And you can see there's a video of me reacting, listening to music, enjoying my playing. And once you have those timed and synced, let's start masking. You're going to select the video on top, which is the video of you reacting. And again, make sure you're on the mask sub tab. And here you can see that mask not only offers a split effect, but there's a bunch of other shapes that we can use. So just for an example, let's go for a circle. And now we have the circle, we're going to adjust it to our liking. So you can get a full shot of the head. I think that looks good. And you can play around with the feathering, play with the positioning. But for this clip, I like it being a full circle. And once you have it set to your liking, you're gonna go back to the basic sub tab. And this is where you can move the clip around. You know, you can change the sizing, change the positioning. And once you set it to your liking, let's take a look at this final shot. And there you have it. Now you can easily make gameplay and reaction videos. Oh, and feel free to play around with these settings as well. You can do a rectangle, you can do a heart, which I think would be really cool. Or you can do a star, you know, you can have a lot of fun with this. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. If you have any other ideas for other tutorials, feel free to let us know. But anyways, I'll see you in the next tutorial. Go out there and make some content. Bye.